Welcome to the Ask a Swim Pro Show. My name is Ferris Savetti, co-founder and CEO of My Swim Pro. And today we have a special guest, Chris Nikic and his coach have joined us on the Ask a Swim Pro Show. Thank you so much for joining. How are you guys doing? Far great. Thank you for having us. Awesome. So, Chris, you are now an Iron Man. That's incredible. How do you feel? Um, I feel uh, pretty awesome. Um, I'm a fan and uh, now I feel uh, I'm part uh, of the family and uh, I saw this morning that put my posts on social media that I put a thank you family with a cup of coffee. Okay, <laughs> uh, Coach, how, how does it feel to work with, with an athlete to, to be an Ironman? You know, it's an honor and a privilege to uh, work with Chris. You know, he's the first person to do anything. He's literally changed the world for all those that have followed behind him and opened up a new world of possibility to everyone that has Down syndrome and intellectual disabilities across the world. So it's a real honor for me. Uh, totally excited for him and what yet to come. Awesome. Uh, so Chris, uh, tell me what inspired you to do an Ironman? Uh, it's my dream. Uh, I to live in the and I uh, come out on the house uh, on my own path to get my own car and basically make a smart There you go. Mm-hmm. Um, dream, right? Yeah. Dream, it's a very big dream. Uh, so have you done triathlon? Before, like when? When did you do your triathlon for the first time? Uh, for the first time, I did triathlon two years ago, and uh, I mean, I met there uh, with the Indians, and it's been a crazy honor person, and mm-hmm. that's why I found you and uh. Being clear part of the summer and my brother too. Beautiful. Great job. <laughs> so uh, for, for those watching who are unfamiliar with the uh, Ironman, I mean, this is the longest, uh, one of the longest forms of triathlon. I mean, 2.4-mile 2. 2. swim, 112-mile bike, 26-mile marathon run at the end. Uh, what was the training like? Like how much, how many hours per week uh, training did you end up doing? So tell them how often you trained per day. I train two to eight hours, you said. How many days a week? Probably four. No, you train six days a week. Oh, so. <laughs> so he, he trained on the minimum three hours, and the most you would train would be one hour, and that's six days a week with one day off. And there were weeks where we would go 13 days straight of training with a day off. Wow. That's a, 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 lot of, uh, a lot of food after these workouts, I imagine, too, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Tell them what your favorite food to eat is. You know, Lean forward so you can uh, see come for I love to eat more for hours and P.F. Chang's. Yes. He loves his P.F. Chang's. He loves his Waffle House. P.F. Chang's and Waffle House. I love it. Awesome. Awesome. They should be sponsoring him at this point. Yeah. Where, where are the sponsors at? We'll, uh, we'll let the info be in the description below. So you, if you guys are interested in, in learning more, we'll put all of the links. Um, so tell us a little bit about, uh, Chris, I saw it on Instagram. You did a video, you were giving your medal to your mom. Uh, so tell us about what, uh, your family means to you and, and others than your coach and all those around you who support you. What does that all mean to you? Um, it means, that, uh, it means to me is, uh, it's kind of hard to be ready and, um, moms are, are so depressed, very frustrated, but um, now when I did the Ironman, uh, I did the whole event. Uh, my mom, she, uh, she sent angels for me. And, uh, she knew that when I did the work, 
see Fred uh, a couple of people. Mm -hmm. And that's what I did for the novel. Good job. Wow. Wow. Uh, so tell us about the 1% better challenge. Um, I saw this on, on Instagram. I saw it on your website. Uh, tell us about what is the 1% better challenge? So it's, uh, I thought it was a barber shop, and a restaurant. Uh, I did that, and then I um, did uh, 200 prisoners, uh, 200 years in the stars by any of them. By next year, I'll be doing 500 for Kona next year. Wow. <laughs> So um, I was going to ask, you know, what do you have planned for next year and maybe the future, um, like 2021, 2022? What events are you looking forward to? So in 2021, I'm looking forward to compete in the Hawaii, the state championship, and uh, in my rematch, and I take that as a free card to go to USA Games here in Orlando, and if I win that, then I'll go to World Games in Germany, and if I win that, then like, I could do like, more time speaking and be part of my family and my friends and um, Spend time with my wife who loves me dearly. <laughs> awesome. Uh, so, Chris, you're an inspiration to so many. And I think, especially in this year, 2020, it's been a really difficult year for a lot of people. So, what advice do you have for others um, uh, who, to maybe who are looking to either do triathlon or maybe not even do triathlon? They're just looking to push themselves and be 1% better. You know, what advice do you have for them? Um, you know, uh, parents have been telling me that uh, they're trying to spend this mountain. Uh, the doctors and the experts are saying that uh, they can't do anything. And do anything. Uh, not too much. So we decide not to listen to them because they're basically wrong. Um, so it's so to put the lid off and say, look, we want every child with special needs to realize that we need to uh, come up with them every day um, to work hard and um, do a smile with pain, it's called fake pain. Um, I call it uh, broad sweat fear. It across by this fear. Um, the sweat covers the faces. They can go and wipe their faces. Um, if it's right on the knee or ankle or something, um, they go to doctor and get their cases. Good job. Yeah, wow. Uh, Chris, you have an incredible story and uh, you're such an inspiration to so many. So uh, we're really uh, excited uh, to be able to share this story uh, to others all over the world. And we'll link in the description of this video uh, uh, your Instagram account and also your website so people can learn more about everything that you're doing and the 1% Better Challenge. Uh, but I want to say a final time, Chris, you are an Iron Man. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Thank you both for joining us on the Ask a Swim Pro Show. Chris Nikic and Dan, his coach, thanks again for tuning in, and we'll catch you guys later. Bye. Thank you.